everyone welcome back to my channel so for today's video i'm going to be doing a review of this daniel smith watercolor set this is the prima tech set it is a set of six tubes of five milliliter professional watercolor it is artist grade watercolor and the kind of gimmick for this set is that the colors are granulating types um, granulating is pretty neat and I was really looking forward to trying that out so that's why I was attracted to this set so it just comes in a regular kind of cardboard box and inside is a little pamphlet that shows you like their other products and colors and such so you get six colors in this set you get rondonite genuine jadeite genuine amethyst genuine mayan blue genuine hematite and pimontite genuine pimontite yeah, I have a hard time remembering how to say that one. So I'm just going to be showing you guys a video of me swatching out all the colors and I'll give you my opinion on everything. Um, I purchased this for myself. It is not a sponsored video. I got this off Amazon and you might remember this from my last haul video. I'll link that in the iCard. Um, I've been using these for a while and I really, really, really love them. Like I am so happy that I got them. And the reason I did get them, which I mentioned in the haul video, is that I'm like, I've been using watercolor for about a year now, but well, actually over a year now. But um, I still don't know all of the basics really. I'm trying to learn them slowly because it can be really overwhelming. And I'm starting to get a grip on what other artists are talking about when they're talking about granulating watercolors. And I find out that that's actually my favorite thing about watercolors. It's what attracted me to watercolors in the beginning. Uh, granulating is like the pigments inside the paint will kind of move and shift and give this uneven texture when it's dry. I absolutely love that. Not everyone's going to love that though. If you really want a smooth color, you might not like this. But you might not be very interested in this set. Another thing to take note is this set is a really nice set, but if you don't have any other watercolors, I wouldn't suggest this set. Like this is not a starter set. You really need another set of like basic colors to go along with this. Since I already have another set of artist quality watercolors with the basic colors that I need, this one is just like an accompaniment. And I think it's a really nice accompaniment. It gives me like some really nice um, effects colors and really neat textures to go along with the paints I already have. So um, if you already have an introductory set, even the Daniel Smith one or other brand, then this will be great if you don't have these colors already, which is why I bought them. So for the color themselves, uh, the color that I think is the most disappointing of the six is probably the Rondonite Genuine. This is the pinkish color and uh, it's actually according to daniel smith's youtube the only color that's not granulating the set and honestly i didn't even notice that when i was using them <laughs> but i did notice that they were that color was just kind of blah compared to the other ones and now i know why and i'm a little disappointed in daniel smith for including a non-granulating color in this granulating set when they advertise it as a granulating set so that's the that's one bad tick for me um, another thing I'm a little disappointed in is the Mayan Blue Genuine on the box and on the tube looks dark. But when you actually use it, it comes out pretty light. So I'm a little disappointed in that. Like, it's still nice. It's still gorgeous. I absolutely love this color. It flows so well. It just shined in my Jellyfish Girl drawing. I'll link that in the iCard where I use that color a lot. But I just, I thought it'd be darker. It's still a beautiful color. That's just one disappointment I had. The other color I should take note as a kind of slate con, but not really, is the hematite. The hematite actually is the most granulating out of all six colors. It has these little black pigments that really, really shift, but I found that I had trouble glazing over it. Um, it would shift the pigments too much even after it had dried, but that could be my inexperience and it could also be the paper I was using. So take that one with a grain of salt, but I did find that a little annoying, but I still love the color so much that I'm still going to work around it anyway. Um, so yeah, otherwise I absolutely love this set. The green is gorgeous. I found any excuse to use the green once I <laughs> discovered how amazing it is. Um, I will link three different drawings. I use these colors a lot in the eye card. The three-eyed fairy girl, um, the moss girl, where I use the green a lot, and the jellyfish girl. I also use those colors a lot. So you can see those in action there. And uh, the other thing to mention is the amethyst genuine is like the surprise of this set because I had no idea that they have 
glitter inside that color and I think that is amazing. So if you like a special effect type color, definitely check this one out. It's uh, It really has this beautiful sparkle to it. You can kind of see it as I'm shifting the, the card back and forth, but it does not rub off on your finger. It's still there even if you dilute the color a lot and um, it doesn't really affect your scanning of any artwork as well. So I think that's amazing and I'm super happy with that. So yeah, overall, I just absolutely love this set and I hope this video is helpful for anybody looking to buy it. If you would like to get it for yourself, definitely check out the video description below. I have a link to the Amazon listing where you could purchase it there. Um, and yeah, if you guys like this video or if you like this type of format, definitely let me know by leaving me a comment down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe to my channel. I post art related videos every week. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.